All right, Shalom. This is the Burla Tazawamia from GMS South Carolina camp, part of GMS North Carolina camp that teach in Charlotte. I want to first and foremost give all praises to Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Double honest to those a great millstone taught me his truth, and Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and sincerity. All right. Um, this is. I try to avoid this, well, not avoid it, but not to make it seem as if this is um something personal but you you constantly keep getting these scoffers on YouTube all right teaching this madness saying that the Latinos and Native Americans are not Israelites so what I'm going to do I'm going to through the spirit of of Yahweh Shemel Shai I'm going to defend the gospel. The gospel is that Latinos and Native Americans descent on your father's side are Israelites because they fit the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. All right, and the curses that's mentioned in Leviticus 26, which coexist with or go together with Deuteronomy chapter 28, and they fit various prophecies about the ten tribes and their customs, traditions attributes and characteristics are that of the the Hebrews or that of the Israelites all right so you know scriptures say prove all things all right let's get it first and go to um first Thessalonians 5 and 21 it says well first first Thessalonians 5 and 19 quench not the spirit Okay, and that's what a lot of these guys are doing, especially these these uh, Afrocentric type niggas out there teaching that it's only black people that's Israelites, that they the only ones went into slavery, they the only ones that that suffered under the hands of the so-called white man, and that Latinos and Native Americans are a bunch of heathens. Well, that's not true, and what you're doing, you're quenching the spirit, or destroying the, in in the process destroying the faith of brothers and sisters that believe in the Bible you know in the Bible you coming against that so the scriptures say quench not the spirit alright so we set for a defense of the gospel against guys like this that, that's quenching the spirit alright what's that on Philippians Philippians 1 and 17 it says but the other of love well I'll start at um I'll start at uh Philippians 1 and 15 it says some indeed preach Christ even of envy and strife okay so you're gonna have guys out there that's teaching that only Negroes are are the Israelites or black people are the only Israel are the only ones of of uh, considered the children of Israel and not the Latinos and Native American descent alright they're teaching out of envy and strife okay alright besides teaching the truth that the natives as well as the Latinos are Israelites so hopefully you know these these points I'm gonna bring out these obs observations that I have uh, made through studying right, the scriptures going into the Hebrew looking up the words in the Hebrew and then going into the dictionary and find out the, uh, the etymology of these words what they mean to clarify and make it plain that the natives as well as the Latinos are Israelites okay not just the Negroes okay we're all brothers alright so if Philippians 1 and 15, some indeed preach Yahweh even of envy and strife, and some also of goodwill. The one preach Christ of contention, not sincerity, supposing to add affliction to my bonds. 
but the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. So I have to defend the truth. The truth is that natives as well as Latinos are Israelites, man. Okay? And for all you simple ass niggas out there, before you get it twisted, I'm not of Negro descent. Okay, so if you thinking that I'm just a, 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 you come on my comment board talking that shit, all right, you're going to get cut, okay, with the scriptures, all right? So let's get that straight. I am of native descent on my father's side, okay, all right? And through the scriptures and through the curses, I know that I am an Israelite due to the fact that I fit these curses. My father... And his father fit these curses, and we're Israelites, okay? And to hell with you simple ass niggas that got a problem with that, okay? Because the, ma the, the majority of the elect is going to be of the ten tribes, okay? Not just of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, okay? Of the other tribes as well, okay? A mass majority of the two thirds is going to be of the Latinos and Native Americans, okay? And a large portion of the one-third or the remnant that gets delivered is going to be of the Latinos and Native Americans. So for all you simple-ass niggas that's just teaching this only Judah, you so-called Negroes and, and Levi, you so-called Haitians and Creoles, and, you, and uh, Benjamin, you so-called West Indians of Negro descent, if you think that's, that's the only people that the Lord is going to come back and save, you're sadly mistaken. He's going to come and say the elect of the 12 tribes of the house of Israel. All right, starting with the 144,000 prophets, 12,000 from each tribe of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, okay, and the one third, the remnant, all right, those that are of the seed of Israel that take heed and believe the gospel, okay? So back in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 19, quench not the spirit, despise not prophesying, Okay, so for a long time, well, due to I'm working and stuff, I haven't had the time to really get into this topic like I want to, but seeing that I, I have whatever little leisure time I have now, I'm going to utilize it to, to thoroughly prove it, okay? Alright, so I'm not going to despise uh, prophesying. Verse 21 says, prove all things hold fast that which is good so I'm gonna prove this okay like men not being like little children alright like you simple ass niggas and your retarded ass comments that you love throwing up on the comment board this is 1 Corinthians 14 and 20 brethren be not children in understanding okay cause the scriptures tell you this Proverbs 4 and 7 It says, wisdom is the principal thing. What is wisdom? Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is contained in the Holy Scriptures. Okay? Wisdom is the principal thing. Get therefore, oh, therefore get wisdom. Alright? And with all thy getting, get understanding. Okay? So you need to understand what you're reading. Alright? So back in 1 Corinthians 14 and 20. Brother, be not children in understanding. How be it in malice be ye children, but in understanding be men. That's right. So you have to deal with this as men, all right? All right. So let's get into it, all right? And and I'm going to focus on uh, proving my particular tribe like one like the brother from London when they was going in destroying the lies about Esau had said about so called Negroes and so called West Indians basically the, the two brothers from that uh, particular camp they was going in and they was basically defending their faith towards their tribe so I said well why don't I do it from for the tribe of Gad okay alright to build up you brothers in the spirit because that's part of the gospel, man. And Lord willing, if I have the time, and Lord willing, if I, uh, the time, yeah, I'll go in about the other 
other tribes, the Latin, the other uh, Latin tribes.